Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Grace with the Greets. I film about faith and I inspire people to be more productive. Now, I'm bringing your way another inspirational video today, but before we do that, I would like to appreciate every returning subscriber. Thank you so much for always uh, coming back. If you're new, thanks a lot for clicking on this video. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. That's the most important part. Make sure you join the family. So today I'm going to talk us through what I have titled how to keep yourself busy. Okay, so you're a single woman, you're waiting on God, you're waiting for that right man. Now what should you do? How can you actually keep yourself busy as you wait? Um, so yeah, if you're interested to know what I have to say about this topic, keep watching. <laughs> So welcome back guys. We know our basic acquire the right skills, culinary skills are important, housekeeping skills are important. Now how do you maintain a home, maintain a house as a young woman or as a woman in general? These are things you should actually be learning as you grow up. Yes, 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 I do not dispute. Now let's get into what I want us to know. First understand that there is no perfect man. You want to get that out of your head. You want to get the fact that the man is there, the man God has created for me, the one person, there is no one person. Yeah, guys, we cannot overemphasize this. There are so many men, there are so many women, 20,000 men may be good for one woman. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying to go chasing after 20,000 men. I'm just saying that God is going to place you in a, in a place in your life where you would, um, ha you would have or find that one man who is compatible with you. There's so many Facebook, Facebook groups today where, I mean, they're titled single and, and saved, celibate and happy, stuff like happy and waiting or things like that. If you go on there, the, the first thing I notice when I actually go on such groups is that you see a lot of old women by old, I mean in their early 50s or, or above. You know, a lot of women who feel that there is this perfect man, I gotta wait, I gotta keep myself. Yes, keep yourself pure, but there is not that one man, okay? That's the first thing. Um, now, first of all, what you should do to keep yourself busy is to build your emotional self. Young woman, you're first of all an emotional being, okay? Things get to our hearts really easily. Things men say get to our hearts really easily so you want to guard your space you want to guard your heart what type of things do you let in how open are you to the things that people say how affected do you get when people talk to you yeah you want to you know learn to um build your emotions in a positive way okay so that only the right things from the right persons entice you okay the second thing is you want to build your physical self. Now, it's a fact that men are attracted by what they see. You're going to have to build your physical self. You're going to have to stop telling yourself it's the way I am, I'm used to it, or we're locked down. Um, my, my, my future self in the next six months, in my defense, I was locked down, so I added up 10 pounds. No. Be careful what you do. One daily exercise per day build yourself physically be conscious about these things the third thing you want to keep in mind is to build your mental self now the type of man you envisage for yourself so that person you want to be with tomorrow you've pictured him right you've probably prayed about him you have this is how he should be this is what he should have he has to be all up there don't forget that you also need to have something to put on the table Okay, this man is not going to compromise the things he has or jeopardize, you know, what he has built for himself because of you. If he doesn't end up with you, as I said, there are so many other people he can end up with. So if you want to be that special person in his life, what are you going to place on the table? What do you have to offer? Okay, so gone are the days where our parents would actually, you know, go to the villages maybe or go to some other part of the country to actually get men wives or to actually recommend. I mean, some cultures still do match make today, but most times I know people job wife hunt. <laughs> people wife hunt themselves. You know, you get to meet people, you fall in love and stuff like that. 
so yes you need to build your mental self girl you need to learn you need to study books you need to open your brain you need to acquire new skills you need to attract that person you want to be with don't just think that because you're pretty or because you have you know all of them pictures on instagram he's definitely gonna be attracted that's the first step yes you've you've gotten him into your dm and then what are you responding how are you responding to him in the dm so yes that's my point make sure that the type of man you want in your life he's proud to take you out he's proud to talk about you to his family to his friends to the close people around him the next point I just have for us today is to build your character. Be a woman of substance, be a woman of character. It's, you're never too young to start learning and you shouldn't get tired of things like this. You shouldn't feel like, oh, I've heard this so much. Keep doing it, keep doing it. You just don't know when that person is gonna come through. Be a person of character. Remember that you can only make first impression once. So what character did you portray the first day he met you, yeah? How were you eating? How were you sitting? Okay, remember that people tend to tag women as nagging. It's very easy to say a woman is nagging. Now, what does this mean? It simply means you talk about one same thing over and over and over in a very complaining way. If, for example, today you say, I don't like where you placed that item. Tomorrow you say, um, why did you put your clothes there? The next day you say, but I called you, why did you not come? So you are complaining, but about different things. Now, if you're talking about one thing, I don't like where you put your clothes there tomorrow. I said, I didn't like where you put your clothes there. The next time, why did you? So one same thing over and over. People tend to find women very nagging. You don't want to be that person. You don't want to be the kind of lady that the man says, oh, she talks a lot, or oh, she complains a lot. So yes, I'm not saying you should let people step on you or your rights or your values or your wants. Learn to still be firm, to stand out, to make your points known, but you know, in a way that they can tolerate because they deserve their respect. Yeah, men deserve their respect. The next thing you want to do as a single lady who is waiting for the right man is to learn to be independent. You need to be independent. You need to learn to feed for yourself, fend for yourself even without a man. Just so that when he comes, then you compliment each other. He doesn't just come and he's taking every single responsibility in your life. It doesn't have to be so. He doesn't need to take every responsibility in your life. If he's able to love you like he should, as, as the Bible says, as Christ loves the church, he's gonna understand what he has to do as a man, but that does not put you in a position where you have nothing to offer. Okay, so be independent, apply for jobs, have a job, start up a business, write books. What, what can you do that you're so proud of? Do something, yeah, do something. Be independent even before he comes. That way you're able to stand and talk. Now, not in a rude way, in a respectful way in the home, but you're able to stand and talk. Now, the last point which I have for us, which is actually the most important and which uh, should actually be on top of our list. So this is the cherry on the icing on the cake if that makes sense, feed your mind with things that are pure, okay? You want to feed your mind with things that are, that, are, that are holy, things that are righteous, things that are true, things that are beautiful. You want to serve God. Now, nothing can replace this. You want to be in the heart of service with God. I'm not saying that you're gonna, you must find your husband in the church, nope. I'm not saying that um, it is as, you know, you, you should literally be man in a camera in church and then your husband is going to walk by you. Nope. What I'm saying is put yourself in the center, make sure you're at the center of God's will for you. So serve in the church, feed your mind with good things, study the scripture, be around believers. That is what you want to do as you wait. Okay, you do not want to be alone in your thoughts considering a guy who probably has nothing to offer to you. You want to serve. You want to stop rejecting um, opportunities you have to serve. You want to give in your best. And you notice that at that point of service, you're actually going to meet someone. In the same light, you're still open to making friends on social media, meeting people one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so remember this. It's not going to be in church, in the church building, in the four walls that you meet that one person. But at that point in your life, you need to be, um, you know, at the heart of God's will for you.
that way a lot of doors are going to be open that way god is going to order your steps to the right person that way you would actually have a very easy conviction that this is right this is what god wants for me you you'd actually be certain because you are not doing something regretful you are not sending out nudes you know you are not being rude if you've watched uh, my previous video, I'm going to tag it up here. You'd understand what I'm talking about. So things you should not be doing as you wait. Today I'm talking about what you should be doing. So yes, um, that's the last point. As I said, it's pretty important and it tells a lot about us as well. So I really hope that you, you know, enjoyed these very few tips. There are lots more, but these ones I believe are pretty essential. I hope you picked up a thing or two. Thanks a lot for your time. If you've watched up until this point, you already know you're super amazing. And um, I really appreciate you guys. Please make sure to subscribe and to share this video if you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I'll make sure to see you in my next video. Bye.